long while. What's today's date? I'm afraid to even say it's July 16th. 16th. It is the 16th today. And when was the last time? I think we podcast June 1st. It was before TNA. Yeah, that's right. It was. Yeah, it was the very beginning of June. Can <gasps> I tell them? Oh, my. Yeah, go ahead. What are you going to tell them? We taped a podcast. Oh, you did. <laughs> we just refused to publish it. <laughs> we did. We did. We published one about a month ago. Yeah. We didn't publish it. We taped it, I should say. But yeah. Published would mean that it was on it YouTube. It had all the goodies from TNA. But we... it's all now a fog. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a surprise. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We just couldn't get it together. I didn't see it. So I vetoed it. <laughs> and Dinah vetoed it. Yeah, she's got the veto power. <laughs> it's all good. But we will bring some highlights to you now. And we will share some of the things that we got. We even have some finished objects. Well, you know what happens. The longer we don't podcast, the more finished objects we have. I don't have any. Well, you have one that's not here, though. You do have one. That's oh, right. That's true. That's right. I mean, really. So you have to count that. Right? That's true. Yeah. Well, just anyway. Like How you been? I've been okay. There's so <laughs> much that's been going on. Oh, my gosh. We have to fill everybody in. What's been going on, Dinah? What's been going on? Well, I've I think been... you've had a little more going on than me. I don't think so. Well. I mean, I've been away. We yeah. definitely closed the beginning of July. Yeah. Um, yeah. We closed for July. July 4th week. Right. I was in Iceland, which was really exciting. Nice. But even before Iceland, we went to D.C. with Danielle. Oh, that's right. Was that before Iceland? It was the weekend. I mean, really? it was wow. rush. Wow. Yeah. I think that was after Iceland. No, no. So we ended up flying. Uh, flying. We drove down to D.C. Danielle got a job, Exciting. which we knew about, but she needed an apartment. So she arranged this whole These weekend. kids, they always need something. <laughs> it's the story of my life. Oh, my God. How old they get, they always need something. But so what happened? Did she find an apartment? She did. She had like eight appointments. God bless her. She like had a whole Excel she was, sheet. Thank God she was organized. Imagine if she wasn't. That would have been so a All the parents were like, do we need to see any more? Because they were so tired after the first day. Oh, well, yeah. The kids, they have so much more energy. It was really hot in mm -hmm. D.C. Yeah. So we were like, after the fourth apartment, we're like, did you make a decision? And, and they she, did? They did. They oh, found great. one. So we're really super excited. She's uh, moving down in the beginning of August, mm -hmm. and she's in DuPont Circle. So we're excited she's, for her. And she's starting soon, right? Beginning of August, you said? August 13th. Oh, wow. We should get another month. Yep. Oh, that's good. Yep. Once she starts working, that's it. There she's you go. entering the workforce, <laughs> right? Like she's excited, but I'm like, oh, God. No. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell them. <laughs> Let her find out. Exactly. And you have some exciting news. What's my news? You have two kids that are on the move oh, well, as talk, well. Talk about kids moving, yes. <laughs> I've got two children that are in the, one's moved, one's in the process of. Right, that's you know? so exciting. So, you know, as a parent, you're always like, they're looking, they're looking, and it's, <laughs> what are they going to come up with, right? Well, Audrey's staying in Brooklyn. Audrey's staying in Brooklyn. She has a nice uh, sublet um, studio. It's on your typical tree-lined, like a tree grows in Brooklyn kind of a street with the that's brown. Nice. Are, they, are, they, are, they brown are they brownstones? Those aren't brownstones, are they? You know, you I, think the they are I think they're they considered brown. She's stones, very right? lucky. She's about not even a half a, a block park. from the park. Um, the park that has the, I didn't tell you, they have like morning yoga, sunrise at yoga park? at the park on a Saturday. Nice. Then there's there's something else. What's the other one? Not Reiki. Not Reiki. There's something like yoga. Tai Chi, maybe Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Is another very day. popular. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, um. She's got a really good, she could walk to the Barclays Center. That's how close she is. To nice. That. It's a nice location. So if I need tickets, I should call her to go. I don't need tickets. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and then Daniel's in the process of moving. He just found an apartment last week. He's going to, it's either Greens Point or Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So now you'll have so like three Brooklyn out is, of four in Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn is the new Manhattan. Right? Wow. <laughs> So he's like a family hop in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool. So okay. I just figured out how to get to his old apartment. Now I have to figure <laughs> out how to get to his new apartment. <laughs> Reroute ways. <laughs> how do I get there now? But no, they, oh that, that's all good stuff. All good stuff. That Absolutely. they're uh, that they're um, finding places to mm -hmm. live in their settle. No, that's a good thing. So Exciting. I can't complain about that. So what happens is mom is, you know. Well, now it's like, I don't know about you, but for me, Danielle's just moving in for the first time. Which bet should I get? What should I bring from home? What can I, you know, reuse? You know, everything is about the furniture, about right. the house, about the apartment. And she's moving in, actually, with two roommates. 
She's got two sorority sisters. Oh, that's good. So that's going to be that's good. Nice. That's and what Daniel has. He has two, two, two roommates. roommates. They've been How roommates. are they three? The guys? Yeah. They get along very well. They went to high school together, okay. if you can believe it. Wow, that's nice. That's, you know. Well, it's funny. Oh, so wait. Jake just also moved. Oh, my God. Yeah, I almost yeah, forgot, forgot about your son. Look at that. Jake just moved also. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, I guess it's that time of year in the city with the kids. I don't know. Maybe do they it's crazy. tend well, to move lease, more in the summertime? I don't he know. had a one-year lease, and now his lease is up. So he just moved in. And funny, he's with uh, my high school friend that he, like, really? since kindergarten. Really? Yeah, really cute. So... That's exciting. Yeah, so they uh, listen. The main thing is they get along. They all they they seem. As a matter of fact, they're even doing a split in a summer house down in Jersey this summer too. No kidding. With, I mean, not just those two Jersey guys. Jersey Shore. Yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. So that's nice. Gets out of the city. You know, gets to be out in the city. Yeah, you, you know, definitely need an outlet. You need an escape. So he's doing that too. I just realized we forgot to introduce ourselves. Oh. <laughs> who are you, Dan? <laughs> I know who you are. I'm Dinah. Thank you for tuning into the Knitting Place. <laughs> it's not been about me. Let me see the ticker. Six, Six minutes. minutes in. <laughs> You're watching the Knitting Place podcast, and you can find me on Instagram on at the Knitting Place, uh, Facebook at the Knitting Place, and on Ravelry at the Knitting Place. And I am Pam Sapp on Ravelry and Instagram. And who are you on Facebook? Uh, you can do Facebook. It's my whole name, right? Is it Pam Sapienza? That's a mouthful. <laughs> Not really. But anyway, that's me on Facebook, too. All righty. So what's new, Diana? Have we been knitting over this time? We have. Have we been knitting? We have been knitting. I don't have much to show for it, but we've definitely been well, knitting and crocheting. You've got big projects, though. You've got some big things going on. Yeah. But you want to start? You have more. Finished projects? Yeah, we'll what's start with the first one. Well, do you want me to go with my list? Yeah, what's on your list? Tell me. I have The Shift Ooh. by Andrea Mowry. Now, you know, I it's finished even though it has ends to be woven well, in. What does Stephen West say about his ends? <laughs> what does he say? I don't know. <laughs> but I still have ends. You see? Hello. So just shove it in the center. Here exactly. There you go. We'll just I'll stick it on and we'll hide, the, we'll hide the ends, right? There you go. Whoop, there goes that end. <laughs> it's so pretty. Get rid of it, Dinah. Can you see the end? Isn't that terrible that I didn't weave the ends in? I know. I'll do it. It doesn't matter. I'm I just trying to hide. I'll do it. Wait. Excuse me. I'm not getting fresh. I'm just hiding underneath there. You wouldn't think it had that many ends, right? There you it go. Does. So how do you like that, guys? Look that at that. That is gorgeous. These are my Edinburgh colors. Set up a little taller so they see the bottom. Ooh, so pretty. Well, now you pull the ends out. <laughs> Get up there. A little tuck. Get up tuck. there. <laughs> anyway, but look at the great colors in here, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, what yarn is that? That spin cycle. Dyed, dyed in the wool. Is mm -hmm. that what it's called? Dyed in the wool? Dyed in the wool. Yeah. And yeah. it's the, the Edinburgh colors. So, right. I, you know, well, I don't know. that was a special kit. Right. I don't know. If, probably similar things are available, but maybe not exactly. Isn't that nice, guys? We have that kit on order. I have to contact them to see when we're getting it. But we did get beautiful, other beautiful colors in the dyed right. in the wool. Of course, the patterns by Andre Mowry. Mm-hmm. Can be found on Ravelry. Correct. And we just got, speaking of spin cycle, we just got a delivery. A delivery in, and I can show you some of the colors. Okay. And help me, Diana. How's that sound? That's good. We have more than this, but there were just too many colors to show. So this is just a sampling. And what the cowl uses, if you don't already know, is um, three skeins, each one a different color. And the crazy thing, which, which you and I were talking about, is you really don't know. It's so confusing. Everyone is totally different. Oh, the skeins? Yeah. yeah. So you see how they yeah. variegate? Mm -hmm. When you wind this up into a cake, it's a self-striping yarn, mm -hmm. and then it's also marled. Right. So what happens is, although you are you have a cake skein, like with yours, mm -hmm. when you're doing the shift, you're alternating two skeins, whether they are similar or far apart, you can't tell in the, the self-striping right. changes. You really don't know which color is going to blend with which. And as which. I approach the midway point on mine I had a b and c and b and c started looking very similar where they had looked Did very different them? I, I, no I one would really know wow well, no they probably the no they probably wouldn't and Dinah said it doesn't make a difference but I would probably run out of yarn because this is what I had left. I did save it over here. This is one colorway. Wait, so you did or you didn't I, switch? I them? didn't switch. I kept it oh, okay. as she wrote it. But if I had switched it, I might That's have... It's really down to the wire here. Yeah. You don't really have And the one in your hand, this was my A. This was my B. 
and this was my C. So when dark. you were working it, you would think that A, oh, I'm definitely going to run out of A. You know, but um, I mean, there's not much of any of no, these. No, it looks left, like it's really. equal amounts right. left of these two, probably. And this one, there's a little less, I think. But the point is, and you talk about reading directions and twice. You know, I know, because it's just repeating section one, section two, whatever. And um, you're supposed to cut the yarn. <laughs> at the very end, you're supposed to list section. You're supposed to switch them. B becomes C and C becomes B. And I was like, I'm on to the next section. I didn't do that. Did but you I ever have, it back? I did. Oh, I did take it out. Because as I said, I probably, I might have run out of one of them. You know, so. In any event, that's my first FO. Now, if you ran out and you just blended the other one. Who would have known? No. You wouldn't know. Because as I said... Well, your colors are also very similar. Yeah, I mean, I could tell you, especially on the lighter colors, not the darker green, but the lighter ones, the I mean... The two medium shade ones. Yeah, I mean, this one here, I, I just, they totally changed. They totally changed. I mean, it's interesting. I've been following the shift cowl on Instagram. Right, right. No two are alike. Well, Even if you have thing. three, right. like how many Edinburgh colors have I seen? Correct. And none of them... They're similar, but they're like certainly a, not the same. Even these, if you look in them, I mean, like even this one, I mean, the, the color changes. I mean, it's inside. It's crazy. You just, you don't know what it's going to look like. And That's it, so pretty. The, the mistake I think you might make is trying to match, trying to I think blend a little bit. You don't want to do that. I think the idea is that you don't want to blend. Right. You want to so have contrast on the so edge. That you can see. Yeah. yeah. It's so, so pretty. This is, but we, I do have to say that the theme on this was really greens. But, right. It was greens. So. Anyway, so that's my first FO. Beautiful. Bravo. Okay. Thank you. And what's yours, Dana? I mean, you could really go two for one on me. Oh, you I could? could probably okay. go like five to one. Well, what's my next Unfortunately FO? for me, one of my FOs is at home. Do you want to talk about what you're wearing? Oh, yeah. That's I can't take credit for this one, <laughs> although I wish I could. But it does match me. We discussed on the previous podcast, the last published one, we were going to do a crochet, kind of a crochet along, right? Yeah. And um, Dinah was doing it as well, and I used uh, Enzula's uh, Cloud, which is almost like a lace weight, a little cashmere thrown in there. And um, Dinah was using, uh, I think it's Millie Calori Lux. Baby Lux. Mm -hmm. Baby Lux, which had a little sparkle to it, which striped out a self-striping yarn. Of course, we thought we would do it two different ways. And... Um, this is, don't you love the shading on that? Isn't that like I great? I really do love it. And the thing is so soft, too. I know, it matches a lot of what I own. <laughs> you can yeah. borrow it. I, I share. I borrow share it. well. As long as you share with me. I always do. <laughs> you do, you do. But anyway, so that was my crochet finish on it. Secret was, Paths. Secret Paths was the pattern. Who's and that by, Dan? It is by Johanna Lindahl. Yeah. It's published in Miho Crochet. And it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Right. right, and I would say I used, I think we came up with about, what was two say? skeins. Yeah, about the eight. 550 yards of skein I did have left over. but I thought it maybe about eight or 900 yeah. yards. I would, if, you, if you figured on 1,000, it, it would be safe. I would. Because everyone's tension is a little right. bit different. You know, as I was crocheting it, I said, oh, I'm not going to use all this yarn. I said, oh, no, 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 no. But if, it was, you know, I mean, as the rows get larger, when I got yeah, into that second skein, it went really quickly. You know, because it feels they're really nice rows. around the neck, doesn't it? Feel yeah, nice? it's a really great piece, and it's not heavy. It's a great piece. I love cloud. It's it's although it's thin, it has a um, bounce to it, and it right, fl it, it fluffs, it yeah, plumes. Yeah, definitely, it's does. a great yarn. You did your ash burn in that, yeah, love from that. Melanie Berg. That was very nice too. Yeah. So that's finished object number two for me. You can go again. No, you can go again. <laughs> Come on. Now. Okay. Let's. Have you in there? Um, I have a big. You have a couple of them. No, I don't. I have one. Oh, I know what I have. I have the Princeton yeah. Capelet. Now that dime is going to share with me. <laughs> I don't it's, should I take it off? Yeah, take it off. Yeah, why don't you put it on? Take off what you're wearing. Well, here. Why don't you show them the I'll pattern? I'll show them the pattern. pattern. We saw this on at the back. We saw this at TNNA, and it's a new yarn for them. Uh, it's 50% cashmere and 50% recycled cashmere. And what Diana is going to show you, doesn't it go small, medium, Diana? Is that the I size? I think it's two sizes. Yeah. yeah. And she used five skeins, if I'm not mistaken, on that. Um, and here's the back. There are different ways of wearing it, you see, as just a, a cowl, more of a capelet, and then a big fluffy cowl. But the great thing about this yarn is that 
it's really very light when you put it on. Dinah has a great picture of this that she posted a few days ago on Instagram, right, Dinah? Did I post? Oh, I did post it yeah. on Instagram. So you can also go on Instagram and check it out. But she used for this size five skeins. I think you posted skins. actually on Instagram as well. What? This was one of the pieces we posted from the show. Probably, yeah. I think I was wearing it at the show, right? Is what it was. So this is it. Ooh, that it. was my chair. There you go. <laughs> it's not passing gas. There you go. <laughs> Actually, there's three sizes. Did you do small, extra small? Yeah, the first size. You did. Yeah, okay. remember that's the one you that's had the on, one at the show. on at the show. That's the one I tried on at the show. And then there's medium, large, and then XL and double XL. So there are three sizes. Breaks. That chip and that break. It's going to break. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Today. <laughs> anyway. Oh my God. And I think you were on a size eight needle. That would be so funny if the chair broke. Why? That would be <laughs> a that would be a blooper. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway. So, so this is the capelet. Yeah. Did you show them the back of the pattern yes, that it could I be worn did. like a cow? I certainly did. Okay, I'm going to wear like a capelet because it's cold in here. It is. And Diane is showing you the great colors. We really like the color palette that this John came in. Yeah, so of course the there's show. this beautiful tomato like red color. Burnt, yeah, tomato red, burnt orange, great color. And she's got some neutrals there Sorry, my that, are, that are like heathered neutrals, right? An oatmeal, a gray. I don't know what color this is. What color would you say that is? A dark oatmeal? It's like a heather. Brown. It's recycled. And that's like a black right Midnight next to the yellow. Midnight oil the navy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... So it kind of goes, they're heathered colors, and then there are actually four heathered colors. I'm getting, how about if I get the hat patterns? They're on Ravelry. They're really cute hat so patterns as well. I'm going to show you the hat patterns. And then those are the solids plus my red. They were very nice, too. Yep. I think this one's called, is it crushed coral? Is that the red? I think it is. Yeah. That sounds familiar. So if you're interested, all the colors can be found on the website. And we have stock. The patterns can be purchased. Oh, the striped on one is on. It's called the something slouch. What's it called? The something slouch. Well, I don't remember. I thought Sorry. we had the pattern, but they're one skein beads one that patterns. you can do with the cashmere. Yeah, that's how cute the is that? Skein. That's the shore shore vent. What is it? Shore view. <laughs> Reading it backwards. Off of the computer. The shore view. Now that's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> that's that. Is the Lyle using the cashmere? I don't remember. I have to be honest. We can also show that other um, poncho. Yeah, case what? Hey, you show that while I'm looking for the hat. So this is another piece that we found at TNNA and we absolutely fell in love with. It's called the Carver Capelet. And it's worked in, um, let me tell you what it's worked in. I think it's called the Surrey Merino, if I'm not mistaken. And it's also by Blue Sky Fibers. I just want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Yes, it's the Surrey Merino. That is a lovely piece. Pam mm. had that on at the show. Yeah, that was a great piece. Um, it's absolutely great. It's worked in two colors. We're having a sample made right now. So hopefully if you guys live close by, you can come in and try it on. And this one is called, this is also the Echo Cashmere. It's called the that's Lyle. That's the Heathered. Yeah, that's I'm a cool one too. Print. It's called the Lyle Cap. And again, this a woman could wear this too. This isn't just you know for a guy, but it's nice that it is for a guy because sometimes unisex, right? Yeah, you it's look great. for something. Yep. So those are some. It's just funny a, people have this limitation that they see a hat on a woman. It can only be on a woman. It can right? only be on a woman. <laughs> Am I, I right? Know, you're right. You're There's right. nothing. They struggle sometimes. Masculine about this hat, except for the fact that a man is wearing it. Correct. It's got a rib border. And it's stock in it. It could easily be unisex. Anyway, did you show this one? No, I did not. That's pretty. That's with the um, American Scenic. American Scenic. Well, let's see. Do you see that? Do you want me to get some American Scenic? Um, sure. No, why not? So I this like this really one. Nice. This was a great one when you tried it on. Yeah. This is a great cowl. It takes one skein of each of the American Scenic from Blue Sky Fibers. Pam is getting them off the wall right now. And it's fun because I think if I'm in the right angle, you might get a better... You do different stitches. So yeah. it's textural as well as colorful. It takes four different colors. I believe it was one skein of each. And I believe these are the four colors. Is this them? Oh. And there you go. Get those two done. 
this is a light blue on my yeah light blue toast natural vanilla and more of a denim blue yeah very pretty great colors though and it's so so soft and it's chunky right? which is nice which it is goes nice too so that was another great pattern we saw a lot of nice things at blue sky yes it's we just a few big of them. fans yeah. so some of the new that's okay. some of the new but back to fo's what else did we have? You, you're the one with the FOs. Your uh, suburban the chef, wrap. The super, suburban wrap. Okay. The suburban wrap. I, I don't know if we show. I know we were working on this the last time, but I think I had finished it. It was on the after. It was on the after. The yeah. post TNA and You take thing. that. Look at that pretty tail there at the end. Don't it's you like love that tail. detail? I love that. And then it goes into um, the lace sections, the, the stripe lace. sections, and then we have a point at the end. How pretty is that? Let's go back the other way. Yeah. And I used, for mine, um, two skeins of Madeline Tosh Light, the coral. Discontinued. Which is discontinued. And the uh, teddy bear. Where's the teddy bear section? Is it down at your end, I think? Is it down? The teddy bear. <laughs> and then... <laughs> no one can copy pants. <laughs> the, this section here is the uh, hedgehog sock. Now you have it backwards. Have it backwards, right? Yeah. The sock, and I don't know what colorway that is. Is that poppy? Mm. No, I don't think so. I have no idea what colorway that is. Isn't that terrible? It's a beautiful color. It's we pretty, though. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. But anyway, this was a fun piece. I enjoyed knitting it because the pattern kept changing and the colors kept changing. But what I will say yes. is that you need to be um, loose on this to get the size that she talks about in the in the pattern. As a matter of fact, I wet it. I gave it a bath, which I a have to be honest. I, I a really, wet very rarely do that, but I submerge the whole thing. And I, so what happens is if you don't get the accurate gauge on this one, we have a few customers who have actually finished it. Mm -hmm. It was actually narrower and shorter. and shorter because her length on this is, is about 74. You know, if it's 72, 70 doesn't make a difference, but if it's 56, that makes a big difference for, for wearability at least. So I found Gauge that, matters. Right. And I thought, <laughs> I gauge does matter on this one, right? And I thought when I began it down here that I was loose on this this uh, teddy bear lace section. But look at the difference when I got... Did you get tighter? I loosened up. I was. T I began that way. I thought that you was... You said this was loose. I thought it was loose. But oh, when but I then <laughs> realized it wasn't looser. loose enough. And then you can see how that... Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's much more open right. over there. It is, right. So yeah. that's really what it should have been. So anyone who's been doing this, I really... Some of them are even going on to size 7 needles. She recommends yeah, just a check 6. Your gauge. So this is a great... This is a great... Info. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's a pretty piece. You're sharing that one, too. Yeah, I'll share that with okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> so do you see a trend in the colors that I'm using, huh? What do you think? And it even matches your Veronica. <laughs> and it matches Look at my you. Veronica down here, right? Which is a... a an FO from a previous uh, podcast. But. Talk about wheelhouse. There you go. Nice. There you go. That's one of them. And that's that's another finished object. And, and another done. finished object. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Take made it something. Away, I made something for Lucy. I did this over the 4th of July break. Um, really cute. And I made it at the request of my daughter. She saw a piece. Uh, I don't know where she saw it. Maybe on Etsy somewhere. I don't know where she saw it. But my daughter is in design, so she's always trolling around and looking at different things. That's so awesome. And she the wanted same on both sides. Yep. And she wanted. She liked this for Lucy. Um, so what happened was a Tina and A. Diana and I saw um, a, new yarn. a new yarn, which I'll show you now. Here's the book. Then it's from Mrs. Moon. Yep. We're super excited to be carrying pudding. And as soon as we saw this, we knew. That this would be the colors. yarn that I was going to use. I guess if you flip it, you could see the other palette. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. Except you see the glare. Yeah. But it's good. I mean, I use this. You can see I use the yellow. Here. Those are all the colors. And the pink. Sorry for the glare, guys. And I mean, I use five different colors. A little cream. The pink. There's this green up here I used. And this color down here. It's like a grayish grayish like a raisiny yes, color yeah. yep and those were the colors my daughter picked i was just executing <laughs> and so, i'd say you did a fabulous job so that's what she wanted i measured lucy and i'll send diana a picture maybe she can insert it 
I, she was over yesterday, Lucy, and I tried it on her. It's so adorable. And, um, that was and it. now you did that free form. I did a free form. There I made no well, I started with a granny square and then took it from there. And crocheting is so really, it's so, it's fabulous. Yeah. It's, it's so it's creative. So, it's it awesome. Is. And the yarn itself. It's so retro with the colors. Well, tell them why you, we like these. One of the reasons why we like these and the patterns in the book. I will tell you. So this is the book. Let me just show you. Can you see the color work in the yoke? Yeah, that's These great. are little baby sweaters. Here's another one on the oh, back. Someone just bought that the other day. The vest. Really? I think Grace bought it. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're doing color work, especially on such small little sizes, yes. you don't really need that much yarn. Well, that's what took me. That's why my daughter had seen this about, you know, two or three months ago. And it was like, well, what yarn am I use, going to use? Because right. I need at least five colors. It's a lot of yarn when you think about yeah. it. Five 50 gram balls, one right. skein of each color. Well, the beauty with this one, the pudding, they're only 25 grams. It's like 62 yards so, in the skein. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is the camera so It's very like, washed out. That's okay, better. Be the further back, back you go. I'm sorry, guys. I okay. got this right. I want to get this skein out. I love this color. She didn't put that this in. Marshmallow. I wanted her to put this one in. How great is that color? Look at that. Maybe it's not even back. doing justice to the color. Yeah, it's back here that you have yeah. to show it. That is it's a really great color. Cute. And I believe this is, is it 50-50 this year? So I can go through, no, like, no, here's no, some no. of the yoke sweaters. For example, here's one. Look at that. The, look at those colors. I mean, it's really cute. That's it's like great. that chartreuse mm -hmm. yellow. With the coral, the, with right. the marshmallow. Um, it's funny. The names don't necessarily match what they, they look like, but and so it, pretty. It's 80 merino and 20 alpaca. That's a blanket. Yeah, that's pretty. There's a slip-over vest. And a bunch of hats in there, There's too. There's a bunch of hats with color work. So what the beauty with this is you get a skein of each color. You don't really have too much left over. There's a spiral hat using two colors. There's another yoke striped sweater. And, and it is machine cute. wash. What's the fiber content? 80 merino, 20 one. alpaca, baby alpaca. Okay. And its needle size is, okay, let me interpret this. It's okay, like a... Know five a three or four or five but it says it's 24 to 26 stitches to four inches now i crocheted this on an e and i almost feel that you could knit this as a dk i mean between a sport it does plume i could see it, it does plume so it's I, got the properties right. of cashmere probably from the alpaca right um so it didn't pretty. it didn't really feel because 24 to 26 is really a sport weight mm-hmm but really, I think you could you do it probably as a, get a DK, right as a on, DK on it. Right. So that that was a great find as soon as we saw this at TNNA. I've been looking at that for a while. Exactly. I finally took the plunge. <laughs> I said to Dinah, that's the vest. And sure so enough, cute. so I'll send Dinah a picture. Maybe she can insert a picture of Lucy wearing her vest. She's so cute. And, um, and that's the end of my FO. All right. Well, that's a lot. Well, you know, but uh, you've kids, done such kids, a great job. Kids things. It's been a long time. Kids things. You did one kids thing, and you finished three things for you. That's well, pretty amazing. Again, kids. it's been a while since we've got kids, and I, I haven't had a lot of FOs. Dinah has a sweater that's done in addition to this, but she just doesn't have it with her today. So that'll be on the Sorry. next package. Next surprise, one. surprise. <laughs> I'll have one in the back. We'll be on the next one, right? <laughs> one in the one in the. the <laughs> so you don't have to worry about the next podcast. You already have, I already have me. One on the other hand, we'll have nothing. I'm stress free. I won't have anything I'm until ready September. To podcast tomorrow for the next one. <laughs> exactly. You, you can saved you some. can carry the pod. Yeah, exactly. I should have saved, saved some. some. I should have saved some. Okay, should we go into whips? Yeah, why not? What do you have for a whip? Well, I guess I have more whips on hand than you do. So why yeah. don't I start? Go right ahead. Well, I have, what should I start with? I will start with... What's your whip? Uh, I'll start with my secret path. Oh, yeah. Which right. is your FO. Right. But there's my crochet hook is in there. So you've seen this as a finished object, but mine is, like Pam said, in the Merino Baby Luxe, the Millie Calori from mine. got Lang. a little sparkle. And I have a little sparkle. You can see that sparkle, too. So it glistens, yeah. which is really pretty. Mm -hmm. And it's self-striping, which is fun. So it'll have a different effect it's pretty. than the solid color, but it's certainly very pretty. So that's my first whip. 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 Your whip. 
which is one of these days my crochet project will be finished. It will be soon before you know it, it will be done. Well, see, yeah. keep going. Yeah, I only have one. Okay, so you might as well go. Well, my second one that I'll share is my Kalish cardigan oh, by yeah. Michelle Wang. Now this is a big project. This is a biggie. So you'll probably I won't pull it out every single week. Well, what is your goal to be done by when? October, or November. Probably November. October, November, right. more likely November, right. the rate we're going. I mean, this is really intense. Look, Look at, at all that, the cables. Guys. Look at that. Look at, she's got the ribbing on the bottom. And this is a beautiful, rich, Mandering. plant color. Yep. Look at that. It's intense. It is. So You should show them ch the chart you're working on. You've got a chart. Where is that chart? <laughs> I don't even know where I was it looking, is. I was I'll helping a customer it. today, and I was like, holy jeez. <laughs> I have to tell you, we came out with an amazing, I mean, this is a very good tip. Yeah, it Hold is actually. A it's a very it's good a tip. Very, she must show it to you. I mean, when you look at this chart. Well, you know, you should show it to them without the, without the, uh, the enhancements and then show them the enhancements. Boy, what a difference, right? Where's my bag? What bag? My black knitting bag. Hmm. I don't know. Is this okay. it? Hold now, it. Linda's was bigger than this today. Well, she enlarged it. Oh, my God. Hus was very big. Did you put the tape over here, Dinah, on this? No, no. That was a photocopy. Hold on. Here oh, was that a photocopy? Right that's Sorry, crazy. Guys. Okay, hold it. That's so, how that photocopy? That, oh, that's crazy. Well, that's because the tape, the colored tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll take that's out great. my original chart. And when yeah. you see how you intense must. this is... <laughs> I mean, you could really go cross-eyed. Go closer. Okay. So, so this is see. the chart. So there are one, two, four, six. There's eight different symbols. Yeah, but. And you could really go cross-eyed. And, of course, we've always recommended the highlighter but tape. I, I have to say, though, yes, there are eight different cables. But. No, six cables and the knit and purl. Okay, six cables. But if you look at it, I'm looking at an enlargement right now. One of the, you know how cables have like the little dashes? Right. Well, it's a left, left front cable right. or a right front cable or a right or a back cable. But this cable, if you don't look at it closely, you might not even, even if you looked at it closely, it looks like a little number 77, right? Right. <laughs> it's got a little pearl uh, stitches. Is that what that means? That's what it means. Is that what that means? So but basically. They didn't, they should have, well, I don't know, me, this is what I'm saying. What do I know? It's hard to decipher. Yes. P.S. I came out. I think I came up with a very clever idea. You ready? Go ahead, show. Go closer. We color coded it. Go closer. So for every cable symbol, that's better. We highlighted it a different color, so that you didn't have to go crazy trying to figure out which cable it is. Ugh. It's kind of hard because the color, you know, the it's adjusting. Anyway, P.S. If you saw a pink chart or pink highlight over the cable chart you went over and you said oh it's a right twist yeah, cable much easier if you saw the yellow highlighter you know that it's well, a two by two left cable right and so forth so that really really made it a lot easier but before you began this before you began it as a class we had a customer oh yeah margie not margie uh maria she oh came in. She had a rip. How much of the back had she done? She had two thirds of the back, at least. And She's she did three quarters done. She didn't God see that Maria. little. She didn't see that little seventy-seven. Am I right? No, that's not what happened. <laughs> what happened? So she went through this whole chart. She did everything on the front right side correct. I've made this error on chart reading. What'd she do? She, on the wrong side of your work, you're supposed to do the opposite. In other oh, words, yes, she knit right, the knits right, and right, right. the pearls. She didn't do that. She looked at the symbols from the right side and applied them to the wrong side. Oh, oh, there, oh, <laughs> uh oh, oh my! Well, Poor thing. it does I have a happy to, ending. I ripped out her. I, you know, she didn't even want to rip it out. She's no. like, "It's fine. It'll be different." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." no, no, no. <laughs> that you have to rip. We ripped yeah. it out. She called me. You know, she was devastated. But then four days later, I can't believe how fast. A week later, she calls me up, and she couldn't thank me enough for getting her back on track. And she's and a good she's knitter. She's fabulous a fabulous knitter. She's a good knitter yeah. And now she's happy as a clam. And she's in, and she's like almost done with the back now. Oh yeah, she's been she's, in since then. We mm -hmm. worked it. Yeah. 
She's ahead of all of us. <laughs> so that's a little intense there, that chart. Now that brings me to a, a not even not even a work in progress yet. It's a yours. Hoping to be work in progress, which I've mentioned Why? before is Daniel. Didn't you want the yarn I did the, the yarn. gauge? Yeah, yeah, I did the gauge. As I mentioned before, I promised my son Daniel a sweater when he turned twenty one as part of his birthday gift. He now is twenty six and he doesn't have the sweater yet. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> poor kitty you know part of the he picked the timberline by uh, jared flood brooklyn tweed which is a lovely i mean i would have picked it myself it's a lovely shawl collared cardigan i kept saying to me you don't want to pull over <laughs> he kept saying no i want a cardigan but it's just way. like dinah's um pattern it's cables the entire thing is cabled what's yours it's a lot how many skeins did I You buy? should be doing skeins? yours while we're doing ours. Oh, you're ahead just of me as, now. doesn't matter. Well, I have Everyone to tell you, at their own pace. I looked at it. Part of the reasons I haven't started yet is it's a tubular cast on. So, of course, you know, you've got to look up the directions on a tubular cast on. It starts with half the stitches. Then you increase the full number of stitches. And I know you put your phone on Do Not Disturb, but Daniel's calling for the second time. Okay. Should I pick it up? Yes. Hold on. Excuse Let's me. just excuse Pam for Let a moment. Hello. Okay. So, anyway, hey, that is phone. my... I don't know what whip is that. Is was that my second whip? That might have been my second whip. So it's Kalish Cardigan. It's by Michelle Wang. I'm using Mayak yarn. And everyone is doing really nicely. I do have to admit we have one dropout. And that's okay. If you're not up for it, you're not up for it. Call it early. Don't Right. Go, you know, don't go halfway and then decide. Know thyself. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. and that's okay. So, so anyway, that was the that was the sweater person. That was that was Daniel. <laughs> he he knew we were talking about. Him. But anyway, so um, I was telling Diana the other night. You know, sometimes you just like to sit. You know, it's the end of the day. I like to sit and look at a pattern that I have to do, and you know, look and see what you have to do in it. And of course, this pattern is twenty four pages long. Daniel? Yes. 24 <laughs> pages. I think ours should, was like nine, maybe 15. You should see the charts 24. that it has. You should see the charts that it has on this thing. So I t it took me really, it, it, honestly, a half an hour to decipher because it says start with your sleeves. Did you read the And pattern? of course that goes against what I want to do. I don't want to start with my sleeves. So I'm like, well, why do I have to start with my sleeves? I'm sure there's a reason. So uh, that took me time to look at that. Then I'm looking at the cast and then I'm looking at the chart. There are Wait a minute. If you had to start at the sleeves, then you don't have that big of a tubular cast on. You should no, start it's not. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But the point is... You know, I was looking at the 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 directions for the tubular cast on. Anyway, so uh, I have to start his. His will be started this week. Was that your bump so, in the road? A tubular cast on? Well, it's not a bump, but you know, listen, if I could just pick it up and like do a And it says you can do whatever cast on you want. They, he does it too. But of course, because he says tubular, I have to do tubular. I can't. I feel like I'm cheating if I don't do a tubular cast on because it is very nice. Yes. It's a very nice cast on. So I will do a tubular cast okay. on. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so that is a whip, even though... It's really... It's going to be a whip. I'll show it the next time. How's that? I'll okay. have something done. I'll show the next you time. You guys hear that? <laughs> She'll have it next time. Look at these ends. All right. So I do have another whip. It's my Mirage. Oh, yeah. And I am into my second half. I may have posted. You might have seen some of it. It's a little... Shake it's a it out. Wrinkled, but <laughs> sorry, guys. Ooh, it's a, a shibui pattern. A shibui pattern. And I am fortunate fortunate enough to be able to say I can show you finished one. Same Clearly it's too. not mine. <laughs> it's in petal, just in case you're wondering. I'm actually sold out of this colorway, but we do have other pretty colors. This is done in the fern. And then you have one skein of silk cloud that gives you the sheer panel at the bottom. And the fern is cotton, right? Dana? Yes. Yeah. And I'll be is happy that a fingering to show you. cotton? I don't believe so. This is the finished project. I can't really turn around. So here's the actual FL. I wish I could say it was mine. But this one belongs to Nikki. It will look like this, though. Hopefully. <laughs> I get it done right. Are you putting sleeves on it? I'm not going to in the very beginning because I would like to wear it as an FL. 
Oh, so you may add on to I it. I may then. add on to it. The nice part about this pattern, it has that option. It can be a tank or it can be a short sleeve. And the beauty with the Shibui patterns is she has you, Shelly Anderson has you do the sloped edging. Mm. Um, so you can clear, you can easily sew in the sleeve afterwards. It's a clean finished edge mm. and it's a clean edge for right. sewing. Mm -hmm. You decide to put in your Well, that's what Sandy later. did too, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't need anything on her. She, no. Her edging. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. So that's, that's been very wash. popular this, this We spring. have a lot of people mm -hmm. making this. This one's really pretty. It's been very popular. Alrighty. And that's what it. else do I have? That's I think a whip. That's it for my whips. Well, the whip that I have, I have some things, but the whip I have with me today is uh, called the French. Macaroon. Macaroon. You want to say meringue. meringue? I do want to say meringue. meringue. No, I've got this block you. with patterns. I say meringue, right? It's macaroon. You said it. <laughs> it's macaroon. Do you prefer a meringue over a macaroon? Actually, I would prefer a macaroon over a meringue. Interesting. Probably. I, I'm, I'll take anything. Anyway, I don't know if this is a good view. I'll show you what I haven't done that much, but I'll show you the yarn that I'm using. I it's, mean, there's three of them on a clothesline here. It calls for a DK weight cotton, and I am using, I'll back up a little bit, that's better. Boy, I'm seeing a theme in the colors we're using today. <laughs> Strong theme. Strong theme. This is well, a Lucy's color. Lucy's got to match you for Well, pictures. again, my daughter picked these colors. <laughs> I did not pick these colors, but I do like them. It's, um, what would you call that color? A, um, it's orange. It's a coral. Coral color with a cream cotton. And uh, as you can see from the picture, it's all garter stitch. I think I, I said it's a DK it weight cotton. I'm not sure if I said that. But um, it doesn't really have cute. to be cotton. I chose cotton because it looked crisper. And I think the pattern was done in cotton. But I'll show you some of the colors that... that Pam we... chose to use Provence. Did it call for a DK? Yes, it did. Okay, mm -hmm. so she chose the Provence because it's DK weight. We got lots of pretty colors, so you can do crazy options. Try okay. to go flush side by side so you get all the colors. Yeah, trying. It's just a lot of colors. <laughs> You've got lots of choices. <laughs> and these aren't even all of them, to be honest with you. Look at that, guys. The yellow, the white, the pink, the red. So the, blue, the, the combinations green. clearly are endless. Yeah. We were even talking that you could put a little texture in it if you wanted to. Yes. Yeah. That could be fun. Yeah. little texture in the yeah. yolk. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the pattern goes from zero to three months to, um, I don't know, like a five-year-old. Really? Like that. There's, a, there's a nice size variance in it, which is good because it's not just for a baby. So the plan for us was to make this for Lucy out of these colors. And then, as I mentioned, Emily's having another little girl in November. And to... Um, once this is done, we'll pick our colors for the baby. So they're going to have matching not, sweaters yeah, with coordinating mat colors. Baby. Correct. Absolutely. Cool. So anyway, so that's, and it's That'll a fun, fun, quick project. And that will be done for the next podcast, unless we podcast tomorrow. Ooh, <laughs> we'll be done. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. And that's my whip that I have here. I have other things. So if you're but... interested in the French macaroon, I'll mm -hmm. have it in the show notes. But right. that's by Caroline Hegwer for the Noble Thread. And if you've missed anything, I will put them in the show notes, so don't worry. Yeah. All right. Should we go into... What's next? New yarns? Yeah, why not? All right. What do we have? Well, we covered Mrs. Moon, the Correct. pudding. We covered Echo Cashmere, right? We covered Echo Cashmere. Mm -hmm. We actually covered Dyed in the Wool. But we did not cover Dream State, yeah. which is another yarn by Spin Cycle Yarns. And this one is her DK weight... Oh, this is um, worsted white. I thought it was DK. Wait, you're so, talking about Dream State? Dream State. Worsted. It's worsted. Oh, excuse me. Worsted weight. Even better. Yeah, it's even better. It's even better. <laughs> so this is their new yarn. We're thrilled to have it. It's 150 yards. These are Now, these are not all of the colors. We're just showing right. you a few of them. It's just a representation. Yeah, We've got too many to show. Yeah. But you can certainly find them online on our website. Let me match you, Diane. I have to match you. It's okay. bothering me that my labels are going in a different Sorry. direction. Very pretty. Again, right. the same concept, same theme with the yarn cakes and the colors, self-striping, mm -hmm. as well as the moral effect that's going on as they change color. And it's 150 yards. Yep. 
and you can find patterns on Ravelry. I have not worked anything up, but we do have the, is it the Aries hat? That's the Aries hat that uses one skein each of two different colors. Um, I mean, if you go on Ravelry and you look up Dream State, you'll see the designers are just starting to get their hands on the product. It's brand new. Right. They picked it up at TNNA or a little bit before. So we know that it's... Now, who's designing a cowl with four, three or four colors? Andrew Mowry. Andrew Mowry. Is four right. colors, one skein of each. That will be out this fall. Stay tuned. Yeah, so grab your dream state. That's right. <laughs> Get them early. Exactly. So that's been another, you know, very popular... New product. New product, yep. Do you want to talk about the Knit Kit? Yeah, sure. That's back in stock. We want to get that as well. And we have that as yeah. well. The Knit Kit is something that we got back in stock. I think the black one is opened. If you wanted to take it out yep. of it. Yeah. Anyway, we got it in. This was something we had a long time ago. It is, as you can see on the back on the diagram. Look at that. It has... Um, it's one of those tool, those gadgets those you can put. Look at that! <laughs> you can put in your um, your knitting bag, and it's like it has. Contraceptive it does. We always said that it does. We always said it's that. It's new and improved. They've added to it. It has mo stitch markers, darning needles, scissors, uh, a gauge, point protectors, and tape measure, a thread cutter, crochet hook to fix mistakes, drop stitches. So yeah. if you have one, a row counter. If you have this. In your knitting your travel bag. bag. Yep. You have everything you could possibly need while you're knitting. Right. So and it's uh what is that? It's like travel safe, I forget. Yeah, the, the scissors or yeah, I forget what they call them. they're fold and snap scissors. So yeah. everything is approved for is it TSA? TSA approved for Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, it travel. has ten ten essential tools in each kit. I feel like this is an infomercial. But this has been out kit. this was out a long time ago. Yes. Well what happened was the original old owner sold the company right and now it is under new management and they've ownership. added a few new things new to the improved right we've done so, quite well with them yeah so it's get for your gadgets don't feel that you you can leave home without you have that you have everything you need yeah you don't have to scramble yep. exactly how many times you get on the plane you need a scissor you're stuck what if they or take your scissors needle, from you when you're going protectors. through right. Like, security, right? You drop a stitch, you know, yeah. you have the crochet hook. It's really great. A counter and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you help? Yes. The next new. It's sticking. It's sticking. You know what? They had them sealed. Did you hear that crinkling noise? Yeah, they <laughs> had them wrapped in that bubble wrap, but it was like a sticky bubble wrap. Yeah. Well, this is brand new. These are pencils by Quigo, and I'll try to show it to you without a glare. It's going to be a going to be a challenge. Each, each, um, each kit box contains 10 mini skeins. Right. And there are a total of 87 yards per skein. So 87 times 10 is 870 yards. That's correct. So they're 25 grams skeins. And as you can see, they're different colors. Right. And she has an ebook that you can actually download on Ravelry. I'll show you some of the designs. Now, if that you are download in here. it on Ravelry, can you do an individual pattern or the whole? I believe e in this collection, you can. If there's a individual, specific, right? yes, there's a specific pattern you could purchase just the pattern. From what I understand, look at this pretty one. Um, that's all pastels. Pastel. That's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted the entire collection, you can purchase it as an ebook. So it's called the Quigu Pencil Box Collection. Probably mm -hmm. coming up backwards on your screen. And I think what she had done is she had approached designers, and each designer had come up with their own interpretation or own design. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. um, it's like, like cornflowers. Oh, that's pretty. It's the annex cowl. She's got another one here. It's a lace panel. Entrelock. And it's a close-up of the entrelock. I feel awkward. Listen, you can even buy this pencil box and, and I mean, do you can do you anything. Want. You don't even, you don't you could need do to those do little like puffs or whatever. Yeah. You have a pretty, yeah, those little light. bee, what are they, bee? You just beekeepers. Well, I had the pattern before. You just right? had them out. Yeah. Yes. It's yes. funny. We were just a crocheted yep. pattern in here. So, certainly a lot of cute little patterns. I fell in love with that one. Let me see that. I, it's kind of like a half log cabin. Oh, this oh, one over here? Yeah. yeah that I is pretty. Like it. It's pretty. There it is. And you can really appreciate all the colors there. It's not, I like that you one. know, I like that too. Yeah. So, oh, that's cute. this is a fun way to play with Quigu. Yep. And uh, 
Who doesn't like to play with our colors, right? Exactly. To play with the colors. Yeah. Oops. I'll just show you the end a little bit. There you go. That's pretty. Very nice. And of course, that particular one is a little more neutral, so you pick whichever color way you like. Right. So that was new at TNNA too, and that's yes. come in since TNNA, right? Yes. So we've got a bunch of stuff here that we saw at TNNA, right? I mean, not only did Miss Pudding, no, Miss Moon, what's her name? Mrs. Mo Moon. Mrs. Moon come in with the pudding mm -hmm. yarn. We have a sample now. And we have this sample. Not only did we get Echo Cashmere, we've got this sample made. And this is 50% recycled cashmere and 50% new cashmere. So this, this was really fun. Nice to work with, an easy, simple design. Very pretty. It's pretty, right? And this will always, I knit the sample actually while I was in Iceland. So I was gone for about five days. I knit a skein almost a day. Mm -hmm. Certainly I knit a little bit more on my way home. Right, right, right. Five hours of knitting time. <laughs> Short flight to Iceland. But that, that, that's a great piece. This is fabulous. Because you can wear it as a cowl. Yeah. If you're wearing it and you're putting a coat over it, just pull it up and it's... You know, I mean, I we sold out of the red and we just got it back in. Very popular. We've sold it in the Midnight Oil, sold in some of the neutrals. It's mm -hmm. been a very popular pattern. It's a good pattern, yeah. yeah. All right. So I think that's it for new. We have some more new, but... Oh, there's a bunch of new stuff. Yes. Yeah, just... We're going to just yeah. pace ourselves. We have to leave. Well, we'll some of it's it not all in yet. And some of it, you know, like we're having the one sample knit up on the blue sky you mentioned. You know what? I'm going to show one more now. Ooh, what are you going to show? I'm going to show you Ching that came in from... Oh, yeah. You should, you okay. should do that. You should do that. I'll show you, you one more. That, yeah. It's actually not this online one, yet. And this wasn't from TNNA either. This no, was from, this was back uh, from uh, when we were when I was in Edinburgh. Correct. I picked it up and mm -hmm. uh, we're excited to have it. And I don't know if you know, we've done a sample for the shop. It's called Birds of a Feather. Another pattern by Andrea Mowry. Do you have it there? Um, it's again. hanging off. That would be great if you can get it. Yeah. So it takes two skeins of a fingering weight yarn with a coordinating skein of mohair. Was it one skein or two skeins of mohair? It might be two. I, I have to check the pattern. Mohair. It's two of one of them. I'm not sure. I think it's. Isn't it two and two or two and one? No, I think it's two and one. I don't think mm. it's two and two. It's okay. not because I. It might be two and one. I think it's two and one. I think it's two of the two of the mohair and. And one of the, the opposite. Well, whichever. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. So this is Birds of a Feather. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on our podcast before. This was in the Lane magazine, yes? Yes. And it's now available as an individual pattern. Yeah. And this particular sample was done with Madeline Tosh Light and the with Silk Cloud. Silk Cloud. Yeah. So. And that's, you know, the this was the, you know, variegated yarn with the solid Silk Cloud. Right. Well, now we have Ching Fiber in. We are super excited. A new yarn from the UK. And, whoa. Woo. <laughs> I just <laughs> lean forward. Nothing happened to the chair. I'm this is one combination. <laughs> um, fingering weight with the coordinating mohair. So that's Hand dyed one. mohair. Hand dyed nice. mohair to match. That's one and then we have this one. another colorway. A blue colorway. Oh, that's pretty. Nice. And then we have a pretty pastel. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Coming out. Washed, washed out a little out bit. A little bit. Maybe that's but I think that's good. In the center, you might The pink see it a is just better. a. It's a little has a little more color to it, but it's still more pastel. More saturation. Yep. Um, How pretty and then is that I have one more colorway. This is also really pretty. I think I really like this one. It's like a peachy pink. Yeah. But the other one was more of a pinky peach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All righty then. Getting punchy. <laughs> getting punchy. Okay. So that's our yeah, chain, that's fiber. chain fiber. That's we are new. super excited. Yeah. I will be posting kits. more on Instagram. Yes. And you'll see the kits online. And By the time you see this, the kits will be online. I hope so. Putting the pressure on there, Pam. Now listen. Someone has to, right? <laughs> Get a little on the edge. There you go. Okay. Should we talk about new in-store samples? Yes. Well, this is one of them. The Princeton Capelet. Mm -hmm. We have 
but we'll talk about that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, forget we about have that. this yeah. one, which is really cute. Going back to our kids, right? What's yep. that called? This one is called Grow, Grow Into Me. Grow Into Me. Yes. Okay. It's actually a free pattern from Scassell. It was originally knit in Kobasi. But at the show, I saw it knit up in edition three. And I absolutely love the way it looked. I figured it's a self striping yarn. Self striping yarn. It's knit side to side, so it goes around this way. So it knits up like that. It involves short rows, and it's done all in one. Now, was this crocheted afterwards, or was it knitted? I did not ask Barbara, who knit the sample for us, but I, I believe it was, it was crocheted. crocheted. I would say it was crocheted. But you could probably do. And I think she Excuse said me. this was zero. To, Pico. Did she say we asked about size? I think this was the six month, six, six to twelve month size. Right. There's a size smaller than this, and I believe there were sizes larger. It's pretty, very cute. So well, that's an example three. of knitting side to side with the right. self casting on here yeah. and then going all the way around. Yeah. Very pretty, fun. So that's one new sample that we have in the yeah. shop. Yeah. Um, here, and you have those over there. Yeah. I think. I'll let you talk about this one, and then I'll get the other. Okay, this was done with, well, this is from a, a book, what do you call that book, Stitch and Bitch? Mm -hmm. Is that the real name of the book, Stitch yep. and Bitch? It's a popular blanket pattern, I think, right? What we did here is we doubled fingering weight yarn. Yep, we doubled quaigu. So you could quite, you know, double your quaigu. It's all one piece. The edging is knit in. I it's think got, it was originally knit in quaigu, actually. Yep, it's got four. Uh, Large square panels. You know, stock in it, reverse stock in it. And it had, it's, boarded, and it's boarded with seed stitch. As you can see, and it's a great, it's a great uh, oldie but goodie. Oldie but goodie. Yeah, a, a great baby blanket. So we figured we'd knit up a sample yep. and have it in the shop. Yep, it's a good sample okay. for the kids. We've got lots of babies. Yeah, we, we have a lot. We our customers do a lot of kids things. Yeah, they really do. Kids are always popular. And this is a pretty plaid blanket. Oh, no, that's not coming. Coming off with the true color, is it? That is pretty gray. close. It is. Charcoal gray, that's the ivory, charcoal. pale okay. pink, and the beautiful, like, burgundy. mellow, burgundy yeah. color. So this is a pretty plaid blanket. So plaid. It bordered with garter stitch. Yep. Has been making a comeback, and we'll mm -hmm. show you the back side, which is really nice and clean. Yeah, look how clean Some that is. Some people don't like the back. You can always put a backing on it, but we feel that this is pretty clean. It's very clean, considering, right? All the color work. So plaid has been pretty popular lately. We just had a customer who finished back. that last week too. Yes. Did I take a picture of it? I think you did. Janice, I need to I post that. I thought you did. I thought you I did. to post it. She came in on Saturday and she was saying how lovely it was. She liked it. So there you okay. go. So those, I, I think that's it for shop. Is that it for shop? Three shop samples. Mm-hmm. That's so it for shop samples. Um, I do want to share one more thing. Oh, one yeah. of our customers finished the everyday shawl she decided to do a small version Which it's a one skein shawl ball by Freya. Freya. Yeah, Freya and it starts whoops it starts here at the point and it goes all the way out to and the, the way she knit it it's really just a little neck piece a small neck piece yeah I can mm -hmm. slip it on it might be a little bulky over my Capelet, but I'll and I'm try. just showing you some of the color selections on the Freya ball. So sometimes you have one cake, you don't know what to do with it. This is called Ember. The Freya ball or any self-striping cake. Canyon. I've actually seen it done in solid. It's also very pretty. It's, pretty, yeah. it's just texture. You can see the texture. Very pretty. This is Pixie. A little lighter. Pretty. And these are blues. This one is blues. And this is called denim, obviously. <laughs> right? Nice. This is a great one. That's a great color. And this is called, great name, hard candy. <laughs> Yum. Right? <laughs> it's like a so, sugar skull. But the thing, what was the thing that we were saying with the, with the balls? Like well, if, if you we do took two, so this is a small one. So our customer, Reva, who made this, this one, one. And yes, Reva, it's ready. You can come pick it up if you see the podcast. Um... Now, this is the same colorway. You could make it larger. So you see the inverse. So if you were to start with this cake, you'd have red at the point. You'd knit, 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 and you'd get to the center. 
So what you could do is just pick up and join the continuing skein from the outside. From the outside. That's why it's the inverse, and then it would be the inverse out. Right. So right. it's kind of neat because it's seamless, even though you're using a second skein. Exactly. It's not jarring that you have a new right. skein that you've and attached. And there, there are great colors. I've shown you just a few of them. Mm -hmm. But um, in any event, that's one that's of the things you can the do with the free of all. Didn't someone, oh no, it was on Saturday, I think it was, um, oh, Missy here. was telling me that some people are using the Freya ball to do the Guthrie. To do the Guthrie. No way. I swear. And it looks pretty cool. Very That's nice. pretty cool. So I the, could see that being pretty awesome. Exactly. The, as so the, an alternative. The Guthrie is the new pattern by Caitlin Hunter, where she uses, I think she used the, um. Dyed in the wool. Dyed in the wool. Spin cycle, right? Speaking of Guthrie. What a perfect. <laughs> see, how <that> just, <laughs> see how that just came <laughs> to me. See how that just came to me. But they were, you know, she uses, um, instead of it just having color work on the top, it goes throughout the whole sweater. And her first sample, I think she did, it was a low contrast where she had the, um, the spin cycle throughout as the color work with the main color that were kind of similar. And I think she had it also knit up with a high contrast. So you could do it either way. But the unusual thing was to do it with the low contrast and have the colors kind of blend a little bit. More of a, I don't want to say it was marled looking, but it was, um, right, would you say it was um, um, tonal? Like tonal, where more of a tonal, monochromatic. with color work throughout. Yes. As a matter of fact, Christy Glass just posted one yesterday. Yeah. Now, was Hans, two days ago. Was Hans... It wasn't high contrast. It's but it, actually... It wasn't... Well, no. No, it wasn't high contrast. No. No. Very pretty. Yeah. So, speaking Pink of... orange. Guthrie. Or shop, shop colors, actually. Those were her shop colors. No, those are my shop colors. Your shop colors, right. Yeah, yeah. the pink and orange. Yeah, the pink Very and orange. Very pretty. Okay, speaking of Guthrie, we have a special announcement to make. Very special. Go ahead, Stella. No, you tell them. You tell we them. We have a giveaway... A giveaway. You guys. We're giving away. A sweater quantity. Yep, you heard it. Sweater con not quantity. Not a cowl quantity. Not sweater. a what else? hat quantity. A sweater. A Do you need quantity. help there, Diana? <laughs> yeah. Sweater quantity. Of. Or for. Oh, wow. That color doesn't look like it. The Guthrie. Looks very bright now. Yeah, it's actually, I should tell you it's the color name. It it's definitely not. It looks more like a navy blue. It's so it's coming up like a very royal bright. blue, but it's not. Yeah, it's a it's navy not. blue. The coloring. It's a beautiful navy blue. Yeah. Called Ceremony. So if you want to look that color up You can up look online. that up online. Yeah. yeah. And paired with Nostalgia from mm, Spin Cycle. Really? So you have enough yardage here to go up to a medium-sized sweater. We are super excited to give this yarn away. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, tag three friends. That's it? No. Really? They have to leave a comment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to leave a comment. I mean, hello. Didn't you say you need inspiration? Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, she forgot already. I'm coming to the, well, listen, we always have projects the end of the day. to do. We, no, no, we always have projects to knit, but I'm thinking, well, you know, I've got my lace shawl, I've got Dan's sweater, but I could do something else. And there's so many great sweaters and I'm thinking, well, there's, what's the one, the homulus, you know, the, um, anyway. Isabel, no, Isabel there Kramer. There are so many great sweaters. Yes. And then there's also, um, can't Pam needs that. inspiration. She wants to know which sweater she should make. Like, She's in the mood. What's that other one work, that no? everyone did that was so popular that Christy Sunset? had? You know, the one that's got the lace inset. Oh, the Zweig. I love the Zweig, but I feel like we've been Zweigged out. No. No, no. I, I, I didn't don't make mine I, yet. No, I'm definitely making it. I don't know. I don't know if I could do this one. Although I do like the Zweig. It's beautiful. Uh, is there anything that I'm missing that I should consider as a possible sweater? There's so mm. many good ones. With color work in it. There are so many good there sweaters. Are. There are so, the other Let thing you have to do That's is leave is. a comment on our podcast yeah. and make some suggestions for Pam. Pam needs to know. Pam needs to know which <laughs> sweater to make. So, what is it again that you need to do Let's to win review. this quantity, this this lovely Guthrie giveaway? Navy. <laughs> it's great. Nostalgia. What do they need to do, Diana? One. 
subscribe on YouTube. Two, follow us on Instagram. Three, tag three friends. Four, leave, leave a, a comment. comment on YouTube. Now, that, you may say, that's a lot you want me to do. But that's a lot of yarn. I don't think it's that much. You don't think it's a lot of yarn? I don't think it's that much to ask for. Well, chances are you already subscribe on YouTube. Right, if you're watching and chances this, chances are you probably already follow us on Instagram. So it's really not that much to do. It's just tagging three friends. I mean, what was the favorite? What was a sweater that you knit that you really loved making, or one that you you're just dying to knit, but you're holding you holding yourself Correct. back? That's all you have to tell me. Right, inspiration. I think it's great. Oh, we didn't talk about the knit along for the. the no, did yeah. we talk about it? No, that's nice. Oh, I thought I was getting nervous. I, we talked nice. about knitting, and I got I got upset. All right, so that's Jumping our giveaway. We'll Sorry. recap at the end. We're very excited. Um, giveaway. So one other thing that we are planning on doing is a knit along. Another one. We are going to be <laughs> we starting. We don't have enough, right? Well, I, I don't know about you, Pam, but I want to cast everything on. Okay, you have cast on. What is it called? Cast on itis. Cast on itis. Cast and on this itis. is one of those things. This is called Like a Cloud. First saw this, I think it was on Tracy's Instagram. I, well, I saw it on Yohi's journal. I saw it posted. I mean, Tracy has been posting right. it like crazy. Correct. And I actually reached out to her. Yep. And I asked her, is this something that would be a great, would this make a great idea for a knit along? I mean, Tracy of the Grocery Girls. Tracy from the, I'm sorry. Just, Tracy, so you just Tracy from the Grocery Girls. So I had asked her if she thought this would be a good idea to use as a knit along. But it's not the knit along where we need to meet. Right. It's right. a knit along for camaraderie. Right. We all support sh support each other. We're going to have little timelines and you know send in pictures of project uh, progress, and we're just keeping each other in check. It's not a very. It's like going to Weight Watchers. It's, it's very, like going to Weight Watchers. Right. You know, you go every Instead week. Instead of you weighing just, in, <laughs> <laughs> send a picture of what you've done. Exactly. <laughs> it's like a fiber diet. There you go. <laughs> there goes your fiber diet, right? Um, so she agreed that it would be a wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. So we're putting it out there. We have some colors to show you. Clearly we have more and you can always go on our website to see what we have available in stock. I'll give you those to hold. Sure. This so is tar. That's tar ivory. And she holds uh, a SEMA and a silk cloud throughout. I don't know what this one's called. And it's a textured stitch. That's like sh cascade. It looks cascade. like shore, it looks but it's like shore, but it's cascade. cascade. Right. Right. We have the traditional colors, ash, mm -hmm. abyss. abyss. We're pretty much stocked in most mm -hmm. of the colors. Um, so check it out. It's by Hohi Locatelli. And the it's nice called... thing about it is that it's a it's an easy sweater. It's it's there's no button band. You go up the front. There's nothing added to it. It's a great wearing sweater. It's a little oversized. It's really comfortable it's and so cozy it's a great great and it's got the drop shoulder as a matter of fact we sold one today oh did we yes well oh. ronnie she's not oh, making yeah, it in right, sema yeah. and so cloud she's actually using sema and the new ching fiber the mohair yes the, the hand dyed, hands mohair. which is going to be so awesome right. i'll show so you anyway, what she's doing this is what we want i just do. have to share yeah because it's really pretty it's pretty she had this watched out to die for so you don't have to do solid or tonal. You could really do anything. So that way, if you start in August, it's done by November. Yes. What size needle was she on? Four. A size four. It's a four. And all it is is the textured pattern. And trust me, it's not a difficult textured it's pattern. It's knit and pearls. It's knit and pearls mm -hmm. and, and knit rose and pearl rose. That's what it is. So it's not, we're not getting, giving it away, but it's it's an easy textured pattern. I didn't want to say that until I saw it, but it is. It's easy. Yeah. And... Um, so if you're interested in joining along, we'll put up a thread on Ravelry for the uh, Like a Cloud, and you can share pictures if you want. And Hohi really does a great job in mm -hmm. writing her patterns. Yeah, I've done a few of her pieces, and yeah. she writes beautifully, very easy to follow, and mm -hmm. we're looking forward to knitting this one. And she did this. She had a knitting retreat in Bath, and she wrote this specifically for that retreat. And then after the retreat, she released it to um, on Ravelry. There you have it. There you go. I think that's a wrap. I think it's a wrap. Right, should we should we recap the prize? I it's think not we a prize. should. I the giveaway. giveaway. I think we should just to you know so everyone knows what it is that um, they're going to get and what they need to do for it. And we will be checking. So you need to be subscribed to YouTube. You need to leave a comment for Pam, inspiring her with your favorite colorwork sweater, one mm. that you've knit, 
or you're dying to knit. But don't make it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the challenge. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the cable sweater. That's my challenge. Follow us on Instagram. And please tag three friends to follow us on Instagram. And you could have We said name. tag three friends, but when you tag three three friends, it's... What? What's the tag for? It just, know. in other words, you're sending it on to three other friends, you know, that may not I guess you're sharing the... You right, you're or, yeah. sharing, so it's hopefully you'll inspire them That's to all. watch. Right, okay. That's all. I get it. Yeah. And we also should mention, Diana, too... That this could, I, and I, I'm just having this thought, so oh, no. certainly you can veto my thought, but this giveaway could be hooked into, because we did talk about this, our one-year anniversary of podcasting. Yes. It's your, like, one-year anniversary Almost. giveaway. We, it's, we're beyond, I hate to tell you. Are you we kidding? We podcast as we were going away on July 4th vacation last, last year. Last year? Yes. It's already been a year? It's been a year. Happy anniversary! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We should have had a cake. Damn. I wish I would <laughs> a glass have. of wine at least. But Excellent. so what I'm just thinking is that this can be Oh my god, it's a year. I'm really bad on anniversaries. Well, I just remember you know Christmas. How many birthdays vacation. I've had here? Well, I you was twenty one. I'm actually legal. Dinah's gonna have a uh, well, we talked about having a twenty year celebration. You could it's call it twenty one. <laughs> you could say turn twenty one, I'm legal. That's what you should do, Dinah. Oh but um anyway, so I mean if you want to, it just could be part of that, you know. Part of your celebration for we could celebrate. I don't need excuses. You to don't need excuses no. to celebrate. No, I anyway. love celebrating, especially when it comes to yarn and fiber. There you go. So hopefully, right, how guys. long is this running, Diana? Can you read that? Mm, not sure. An hour. An hour and ten Just minutes. Just a little over an hour. Well, that's not bad considering we've been podcast for about no. seven weeks. Yeah. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I missed you, Pam. I missed you. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we've inspired you, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Yes, we do. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.